I'm smoking a cigarette. We're all legal civilians right now. Absolutely. Right? Your lights on. Okay. I, I was just turning around. All right? I bet your lips as soon as I walked in. Who the fuck is this smick? I bet your lips as soon as I walked in. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know, brother. Let's go, bro. Let me know. I don't think I'm tough. I don't think I'm tough. I was just getting hands up. Your lights are off. Go drive around. I don't think I'm tough. Go drive down there. I'll call 85 right now. Revere Bears. Lights off. Okay. O U I. Okay. Ten thousand dollar. Okay. Really you think I know about the fucking law, kid? You're a clown. You're. You would you just make the barracks, kid? You just made it, right? No. I was just telling you. You, you just made it. I, just I just. I just pulled the U-turn and I'm popped. You don't have right? your seatbelt on. Oh my god. Oh my. You foot. silly spit. You fuck. Yeah. Stay close to me, Spit. Spit. Come on. Come on. All right, guys, the video that you watched at the beginning of this, uh, I'll put a link to the whole video in the description box below so you can hear the whole thing. I gave you the part that deals with the editorial that I'm giving you this morning. It's Massachusetts State Trooper Corey Lee. Now, you'll hear um, the deeper voice guy is the civilian the higher pitch kid that's the state trooper Corey Lee okay you don't think I know about the fucking law kid you're a clown you're, you would you just make the barracks kid you just made it right no and he used racial slurs he called him you know you heard what he called him I put what I did called him um just think about why this young punk went up to this motorist. Think about how many people he's pulled over and violated their rights because they weren't white. Whenever a cop uses a racial slur at somebody, you got to think he's judging them every time he sees them. What movie was that? I watched a movie and I can't remember which one it is now. Where uh, I think it's uh, higher learning, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's where one of the black actors tells a white actor, you call me an N-word every time you look at me, don't you? You know, and he goes, you're looking at me, you're calling me in your head, you're calling me an N-word. I forget what movie that is. I believe it's higher learning. <clears throat> but uh, I believe it was Omar Epps that actually said that. I could be mistaken. Right. Man, I gotta admit, you've been real polite about staying out of my way. But you ain't been honest, man. See, I figure it ain't what a person say, it's what they think. So in my mind, you've been walking around here calling me an head. Am I right? I don't have nothing to say to you, man. No, I think you do. That's how, how, when a cop uses a racial slur, that's the cop. Every time they see a person of color, every time they see a person that they use the racial slur on, every time they, they see a person of one of those ethnicities, whether it's Hispanic, you know, Mexican, or a, a black person, they are thinking racial slur on that person every time they see them. Thank you to Boston CBS Local for this story. A Massachusetts State Police Trooper was fired for what the department called unacceptable conduct for using racial slurs during an off-duty confrontation with a driver in Rivera. State Police said it happened last weekend when the trooper approached a man in a parked car on Rivera Beach Boulevard. They did not provide any other information about the incident. The video link uh, for the YouTube video is in the description box below. The trooper, who was not identified, his name is Corey Lee, was fired Tuesday afternoon. State police said he graduated with the last recruiting class in May and was assigned to the Danvers Barracks on a first-year probationary period. State police said they will refer the incident to the Massachusetts Attorney General for review and potential civil or criminal action. 
State Police Colonel Christopher Mason said in a statement, I am disgusted and disappointed by the conduct that occurred, which is the antithesis of the standards of conduct and personal behavior we expect and demand of our members. The action taken today underscores the position I have affirmed since I became colonel, specifically that we will have no tolerance for such conduct and will move to resolve such matters as quickly as possible. The subject is not fit to wear the badge or call themselves a member of the department. And I love what he says. This subject is not fit to wear a badge. This subject, this piece of poo, this freaking, as he calls him a subject. Uh, I love it. So, but yeah, he's right. He's not, he's not fit to wear a badge or call himself, call himself a trooper because He's judging people out there. Every time he sees a Hispanic person or, you know, a Mexican person or a Latino, he's thinking, mm hmm. So, um, this is one where they did the right thing. They fired him. But the question is is he going to become a law enforcement officer in any other, another department or another agency, um, you know, or another state? This guy could be out there in some other state. He could be in like, Vermont or Connecticut right now going through an academy to or getting ready applying so he could go to a police academy and violate more rights and but I like what they said probationary period he he's he's young cadet I'm ready to do man I'm a, I'm a cop now I can fuck with people <laughs> yeah you found out how that worked for you didn't it what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below Community Leo Watch, watching Leos, that's law enforcement officers, to include little punk state troopers out of Massachusetts from coast to coast.